Hey, this is a terrain overview for my latest session of Castles and Crusades. It was session 22 of our campaign, which has been going on for a year now. Um, so real quick, this, this uh, quick piece here was a piece that I put together. Um, it's, it's made out of uh, insulation foam and uh, based on a piece of MDF. I don't really like to use foam core as a base. A lot of people do that and they're good with it, but uh, I just don't want to deal with any sort of warping issue. So, and in some cases, actually, I would be better off. I didn't do it in this one, but also paint the bottom of it. Um, that kind of keeps it sometimes from bending. I haven't had a lot of warpage with, uh, this is a thicker piece. I don't remember offhand exactly how thick, but it's not super thin. And I just bevel the edges down. Uh, so, yeah, it was a, it was, oddly enough, uh, I threw this together in a day, like I was really motivated and put it together, but it's all insulation foam with some uh, gravel and dirt that I collected from outside and did not bake for nine hours like some people recommend. I've never had to do that, and I've been doing it for over a decade and never had an issue. Uh, flocking and stuff like that added to it, but yeah, it was a fun little piece. I was glad to get to use it. Um, Again, I've used it a couple times in games, uh, so it's always fun to bring that one back. Uh, this, pretty much all Dwarven Forge, uh, you see here. These are the blocks from Dungeons of Doom. These are super handy. I have a, I have a bunch of those. Uh, the blocks themselves are handy. Like Maybe some people overlook them, but they, they can be really useful. I've, I've built some really cool... Uh, Builds uh, encounters using the different ones from the old cavern sets, uh, Dungeon of Doom set. Um, really good stuff. So, all of it's almost all of it's based on uh, their terrain trays, which are really neat. When I, those first came out, I didn't think they were all that useful, but when I started doing games uh, at my local game store, uh, it made it way easier for uh, transportation and stuff to build on the terrain trays. Uh, I wish some of the older stuff, like uh, over here, and this uh, this one, these are the old original lava lava uh, tiles that they made way back in the day. Um, so they're not magnetized. I guess I could do it myself, but it's just the list of things to do, and that's not high on my list. But uh, it being magnetized is super handy because I can just stack them, and they survive transport relatively unscathed uh, to the game store. So it's pretty helpful. Uh, re uh, miniatures for this they, so they had to battle if uh, you didn't see the uh, session recap they uh, each this, this is a vault uh, for an old druid uh, uh, council um, and each section uh, contained a stone that was magically protected and defended by uh, one of the elements of water earth fire wind uh, so th this one here, all the elements came from uh, Reaper Miniatures. This is uh, just one of their plastic water elementals. I didn't even paint this. Like, it's, it was pretty good right out of the box. So um, it worked really well. Use that one. A fire one over here. I actually have a couple of these fire ones. And they came in two different tones. So uh, you can paint them. My buddy Matt, who plays in the game, he painted his. He did a freaking awesome job with it. But at the time... When I got it, like fire was one of my least favorite things to paint. So I was like, no, <laughs> and that, uh, that was good enough. Maybe someday I'll paint it, but I really like them because uh, they're, they're durable. I don't have to worry about paint chipping and they're not very expensive and you can just drop them on the table and then they're ready to go. Uh, this one here, this one I actually did paint. This is their earth elemental, uh, really cool miniature. I painted him, when did I paint him? I date and number my miniatures how many i paint for the year and what year i paint them month and year i paint them in uh 2016 by the looks of it this was maybe number six for that year but these are really cool miniature i actually have another one of these that was given to me by one of my players jeremy that i need to paint up i'll probably paint that one a bit differently um i, I was thinking maybe more like a, a magma type elemental than an earth elemental same thing, the wind one, uh, air elemental, real simple. Just put it on the table and play. Really cool. Uh, this black construction paper, uh, get that anywhere. I use that. 
Uh, with Dwarven Forge, they do a lot of stuff now with negative space, and I think that's pretty cool. So uh, I don't have a black terrain tray, but I have a piece of black construction paper that cost me a dollar. <laughs> so I, uh, I use that for this build. That works pretty well. Uh, more Dwarven Forge. This is uh, mostly from Dungeons of Doom. Cavern set. Cavern. Dungeons of Doom. So these miniatures here, these are whiz kids, and they're, I want to say they're, I don't play Magic, so I don't know, but I think they're from Magic. And they came with a little round base of their own, these ghost miniatures. And I was going to use that and put it in the center of this, but there's actually, I have four here, there's actually five, and I have no idea what happened to the other one. So I didn't use that base, I, I used this dais instead, which is actually cooler. Uh, these guys represented the uh, ghostly druid council that uh, interacted with the party once they got to this area. So yeah, that was it. Pretty simple build. Uh, session went well, very well. I actually had another board for this session, but we never needed it because uh, it was for, I was gonna use it as an encounter. It became a random encounter. And the way I run random encounters is I have players roll and if on a d6 and if it comes up a one they get a random encounter it doesn't always have to be combat but this was actually going to be a combat one uh but they never rolled a one so we didn't have to deal with it so that board got left in the other room this is a games workshop whoops that's why i can't have nice things um this is a games workshop miniature uh, from one of their their goblin line i don't remember his name but he's really cool and he represents the uh, Goblin Krugnaut, which the party has interacted with now on two occasions. So uh, he showed up in the last session. So, yeah, real quick build, but uh, it was perfect for that uh, session and what I needed and uh, really worked out well. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see them. And if there's anything that you get like a brief glimpse of and want to see more of, just leave me a comment and I'll uh, try to do a video up about it. Thanks for watching.